I want you close Maybe hold your hand a little while Somehow I know You're gonna be the girl that I'll end up calling my own We ride around in style Sleeves rolled up, glasses on And then you make that smile And my heart starts racing When I'm with you Sorry for the slightly energetic start, marginally. <laughs> but yeah, so today is the 2nd of March. <laughs> so I have to make sure. 2nd of March, which is a Monday, which uh, we are currently just north of Ship to Mallet at our regular customer, or we've left our regular customer, we're now loaded. And we're heading towards Devizes. We'll have to go a slightly longer route, A, because we need to grab some fuel, B, because uh, one of the roads, well, A, one road is shut, and C, and because of the new weight limit for Bath, we can't go for Bath, so. Not that I'll be going that way anyway, so. <laughs> Which, uh, so, oh, I probably need to update the sat now, to be honest, because it always wants to run you through Bath, even though you're not allowed to go through there anymore is all cool it is what it is it's all workable and not that it was the best of routes either to be honest Central power mode uh, today we are going to do a kind of a drive and chat obviously focus mainly on like a channel partly a channel update and just general chat to be honest I mean the as you probably gathered, I've been very regular with content lately, and that's because A, well, there has been stuff to film, but the weather's been rubbish, you know, and been busy, or, you know, just not in the, in the frame of mood of it on some days, and all sorts of stuff, so, just has been a lot on, and also, as I said, I related to in my last video, I kind of fancied a bit of a break as well, for a few weeks, or on and off. Uh, on on the subscriber rides were doing well you know I, I'm amazed to be honest I know yes I'm only a tiny youtuber you know very 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 tiny minuscule fish in the YouTube pond you know but I appreciate all my subscribers at the end of the day you know and thank you very much for my recent and old subscribers you're all equally appreciated Just seeing what that lady was up to. <laughs> I know she's pulling out, but uh, you always keep an eye on when people do that. <laughs> the things I've seen on this shift alone, you know, make you question. I wonder if the mental asylum's been let out over the last week or two. <laughs> Only kidding. But yeah, but with the channel, it seems to be going reasonably well, even though I haven't really been doing a huge amount, and I openly admit that been doing a huge amount this year so far i am planning to do certain things so i'm looking at redoing the intros and i also am looking at doing the proper outro and also bigger than that i am looking at maybe upping the format which uh, means basically camera locations how i do the editing you know a whole hopefully a whole load of things that will hopefully bring a bit more of an energetic and more involving video format i can't guarantee when that will kick in there's going to be a lot of experimentation i think yeah you might as well go because it'd be easy on me to maneuver around there or is he what is he doing <laughs> maybe he's assuming i should jump out of his way <laughs> i didn't quite see who's actually driving i'm only assuming but yeah but to be honest 
there's no. I need to put a schedule ideally on it, but uh, I don't want to put at the same time put myself underneath enough pressure to rush it in, and it's not ready. You know, because I've got quite a few ideas, but if the ideas work out, that's the other question. So uh, we'll see. I've got the capability though, which is good news. I said, just take a bit of learning as well on the editing front, just to do certain things. So uh, hopefully that might be some positive news. I know I can't, well, I don't know if I'll be able to demonstrate anything on this video of it. So, uh, or I can say you have to trust me on that one. But throughout my vlogging, it has improved over time. Not, not, well, I suppose you're not in some ways leaps and bounds, but uh, in other ways, not. Well, it has improved, but not, you know, <laughs> I'm not the quickest. <laughs> I hope they admit. But we're getting there. We're getting there step by step. And as I said, I'm always open for ideas. Uh, a bit like, uh, a bit like well, Deity 2012 gave me an idea for a video. I know other vloggers have kind of covered this before, but I am contemplating looking at doing a reversing video to try and chat through how I do my reverse. I'm not saying I'm any good at it, I'm just going to show you how I do it and just to talk you through some of the theories or make it click in my head. Let him out. No dramas. To be polite to fellow truckers where we can be, or any road user, by that fact, but uh, obviously within reason. I knew he was going to struggle to get out there, so uh, we'll just give him a bit of a help. But yeah, so, and also I'm looking at maybe redoing a tack, or not redo necessarily getting rid of my old taco video, but I will probably do another one on it. Let's see how we go about that. Because I, I don't think it's going to be a riveting video, but hopefully it'll be a informative video to go through it. As I'm not claiming to be an instructor or anything like that on these things, it's just, just how I do it. You know, you can use it as a bit of an aid to try and help you out. You know, but I accept no liability. <laughs> In other words. But we'll see. Those are some of so just some of the ideas I have for videos. I have quite a few others. But I don't want to announce those yet because they are different stages through the pipeline. And yes, I open it with the reversing one, there's no guarantee when I'll get that out. I'll see. The taco one, I can probably do that soonish, possibly. I won't do it on this shift, maybe next, but that leads me to I'm only got a short shift next week because I'm off to New York for a well, four or five day holiday, but I'm only out there for like three or four days of that, which uh, I'm looking forward to, which is going to be interesting. Um, well, I've been to New York, but not actually around New York, if you know what I mean, just been through. <laughs> In the past. So I'm looking forward to that and I may do a video on that, maybe. We'll see. Be saying a bit like, uh, you know, I think it's my Spain trip one I did. Something a bit like that video, I assume. That's going to be probably a bit of a time lapse. Probably me do a bit of an intro at the beginning to explain what we did, where we gone. I may have a play around and see what I can do. I might this time actually do a little bit of purpose recording out there. So I might go like, this is the Empire State Building. I'm stood outside, then you'll see photos of the Empire State Building. Maybe something like that, for example. I'll see. It's, at the end of the day, I'm going out to enjoy the holiday. It's not for YouTube purposes. It's a family holiday. But if I can bring you along, I'll bring you along. 
as it always is interesting, adds a bit of variety and all that. And I know that's the issue with my channel. It is that a lot of my work is very much regular customers, same type of thing. I'm not allowed to film on the customer sites, you know, so it even limits me down further. But, you know, I'm, this is why I'm self-assessing, going, right, how can I not get around it, but uh, try and hopefully look at different ways of making it more entertaining and also more informative. So as I always said, I always try to keep my channel as truthful to the facts, to try and show the truths and the positives, you know, and the negatives hand in hand. You know, so, uh, you know, this brings me on to uh, basically my recent videos, because they have been quite negative in nature. I will openly admit that. You know, I don't mean it to be in a nasty way, but it's just meant to be in an informative way, hopefully. Hopefully it comes across that way. So I do admit, I haven't done many upbeat videos of late, and hopefully this is a, a start of the buck of the trend. <laughs> it's not because I'm in bad mood with trucking, no I'm not. I just, it just all worked out that I wanted to go and do those kind of videos. And, you know, I can't kind of work on if I'm in the mood to do it, I'll do it. And that's te I, when I tend to be more focused on what I'm filming or what I'm talking about is where I'm focused on it, not if I'm not in the mood. And then I find actually it doesn't work out. <laughs> the other thing I'm looking at doing, so I'm obviously trying to learn all the time as well, I'm also looking at how to build the narrative through the videos in terms of like beginning, middle, end, you know, and trying to structure the vid, in other words, trying to structure the videos a little bit better, because I know I'm a little bit all over the place, I know, at times. I'm just going to have a little look, see how I can go and do that, find the method that works for myself, and hopefully that will be part of the build-up of hopefully a different type of format. But I'm not claiming it's going to be titanically different to what I'm thinking, but it's just to bring a bit more variation, a bit of mixture, a bit more, maybe more involvement into the channel, maybe. You know, I'm always open. But we'll see, we'll see where we go with it. And yeah, so, trucking wise, everything's going reasonably well. That also leads me to another video, but I'm not gonna discuss that because that keeps being pushed back as well. But that could happen soon as well, so I'll leave, I won't say what it is. We may have another video on the truck coming, let's say. It's absolutely nice day though, nice sunny day. Which makes a change the amount of rain we've had lately. have uh, obviously hit the farmers quite hard, certainly enough, but it is what it is. And a lot of it's probably down to new developments and such like as well, you know, drainage systems not being maintained or in, improved, you know, that's another part of the issue. And what I mean by new housing, what I mean go, we need more houses, it's just when they build these new housing developments they don't overly consider the drainage system properly. I think they cut corners, in other words. And it affects the new developments as well. And, it, and the other sad thing, it also affects pre-existing houses in the area. You know, houses that have never been flooded before, you know, in certain areas. Just because of new developments going up. So it's definitely something we have to look at as a, as a nation, I think, is our drainage systems very riveting <laughs> bit of information there <laughs> but it is what it is weather will always change and we always get different types of weather come in and you know as I said, we're known to be a very wet miserable island at times <laughs> and we've just had all these wet years or you know wet times, shall I say, it's not quite, I'm hoping it's not going to be a full-on wet year this one, but we'll have to see. I'm sort of looking forward to summer, but who knows what summer will bring. So 
so we can have quite a few different types of summers. <laughs> it can be quite an awesome summer, quite a hot one, or it can be quite mild and wet. But we'll see. We'll see where we go. See what happens. As I said some videos are also relying on the summer as well for production value. You know, certainly when I'm filming outside of the truck as well, it always helps. That's so I, If I go a bit quiet now and again, it's because my attention is obviously on the road. I try to keep it on the road at all times. Okay, if you're pulling in there, I'll take the opportunity. Thank you very much. Sorry for waiting for loads of people too far, so it's always nice to get counterbalanced. It reduces the stress in the truck as well, having to stop again and all that. Which is all good, all good. So yeah, so besides that, I think I've covered just about the bulk of everything there. Um, so I do apologise for the slight lack of content and there will obviously be a little bit more turbulence because obviously I'm on the New York trip imminently and also after that about a month and a bit after I'll be off to Spain for two weeks as well on my motorbike which I am probably uh, I don't know uh, it sounds a bit wrong this but I'm even more excited about the way I because that is going to be an adventure. But I'm still looking forward to New York as well. It's, it, I think both holidays are going to be fab. I think one, one of the reasons I'm really excited about Spain is just to get to really stretch my legs and my bike, you know. Because yeah, I really do enjoy to get on it and going on a big trip like that is what my bike is designed to do. And it, you know, it's an awful lot of fun. Yeah, certainly I find it anyway. I like going to see new places, you know, all that, and, and also enjoy being on two wheels as well, as much as I like being on all 18. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm near enough. It's like, I haven't got folks. Twelve. Twelve, fourteen. <laughs> near enough. Still more than four. <laughs> Had to double check then, didn't I? So, yeah, that aside, you know, I've got quite, uh, personally I've got a lot of things to look forward to and I've also got hopefully things I can bring you along with so with the Spain trip that's another one I can bring you along hopefully with that as well look a bit but as I said it'll probably be a bit of a time lapse chasing different places to be just mean to go for the pics and get the highlights even though if you're interested in this, would you want to have me vlogging on the motorbike? Just as a bit of curiosity. Don't worry, it won't take over the channel if that is the case. It's just just an idea. It may not materialise. I may, if I do do it, I may still do it, if you know what I mean. Do a little bit of it here and there to bring you along. More of my other hobbies. And I think, uh, as I said, I think we've probably covered literally pretty much everything with the channel at the moment. I am, oh, oh sorry, I keep saying covered everything, I suddenly realise, don't I? There is, as I said, other ideas in the background, so website may be a possibility in the future. I am looking at it, but it's just justifying should I have a website or not. I can probably see it, probably quite cool in terms of in my photography and all that to put it up there as well as on social media and maybe a bit more maybe looking at doing maybe reviews on there or something like that possibly we'll see it's the sky's the limit obviously it would be more tied into the YouTube channel because obviously it'll be another place that the YouTube videos be displayed on I'll see. I'll see how I can do it, see how much it all costs as well, because it boils down to money at the end of the day. And the channel is obviously 100% funded by myself. 
I have no sponsorships, I have no patrons or anything like that at the moment, and that's how I like it at the moment. In the future, I'm not walling out any sponsorships or any donations, but personally, I'm happy as it is. And that is not me crying out for money, by the way. <laughs> you know, it's all good. But it's just to be clear with, you know, how the channel is funded, how I go about things, you know, things aren't laid on the table for me, I have to put, put them on the table for myself, shall I say. This year, as well, truck fest wise or festival wise, there's nothing in the plans this year. Just because I've got a couple of big holidays and a few other things that I don't want to you know, get in the way, if you know what I mean. I'm not walling it off, but, or out, shall I say, but at the moment it's not on the way there. Maybe next year though. I think next year we'll probably will aim to do a truck show if possible. I'll probably try and do a different one next year, so I might go and do the one that's near Yeovil. I think it's the, or the, is it the, or is it the, or go to the Devon show, which might be another cool one to go to as well. I've heard good things about that one. I think they're all fantastic, but I've heard really good things about the Devon show. I think it's the Devon show. Could be wrong, so don't hold it to me. <laughs> okay, so end the video imminently so i would like yet again to say a massive thank you to you all you you know everybody who watched this channel and if you stuck with me up to this point thank you very much it is seriously appreciated also if you haven't subscribed please smash up subscribe button it really does help the channel out you know certainly if you'd like to see my content and all that also hit the bell icon as well if you don't mind yet and also don't forget about the dislike and like button that also helps just a few clicks and it helps the channel out if you do dislike it though just please tell me why it might aid where why maybe if you don't you know but hey also please check out facebook and instagram i'm probably more active on instagram even though i'm pretty rubbish in social media i will grant you that <laughs> i do apologize you know, i do try my best i go through stages we're getting there in other words bit by bit inch by inch millimeter by millimeter <laughs> but yet again thank you very much for watching i know i'll catch you in the next one